Hello everyone, it's Pet Alexander and in today's video I'll show you how to use the Sandbox Game Maker if you want to create games in the Sandbox Metaverse. I know you are used to see me talking more about cryptocurrencies and NFTs, but recently I got really interested into these Metaverse platforms. I've been trading a lot the Sand token which is the underlying token of the Sandbox game. And on the marketplace of Sandbox, you can find NFTs for sales, which are different avatars, attributes, assets, wearables, vehicles, and so on. But in this video, I will show you how to use the game maker, or with simple words, you can create games for the Sandbox metaverse, which is pretty cool because you won't need any coding experience and you really don't need to be an artist like professional graphic designer and there are not many voxels artists nowadays honestly and uh, in metaverse we have those voxel arts or oh, for the beginners the voxels are those little cubes that we use to build the shapes and the assets you will see them shortly and remember that sandbox is play to earn game okay there are three major ways in which you can earn from the game first is you can play games and earn rewards you can build games and monetize them this is what i will show you in this video and you can create assets and market them now if you want to create assets and uh, to sell them on the marketplace you will need to apply for their creator fund which is a two million dollars creator fund and you get 100 percent of the profits from the sales you make on the marketplace it's not actually easy to get into the fund because they have a target of working with 1000 creators and this program started in 2018 but still there are spots available and you can apply if you are a creator and now i will show you how to build games and you will see that it's really really easy for this purpose you will need the game maker and if you click on download you will see that for the moment it is available only for windows and you can just download the game maker obviously i already have downloaded it and i will just uh, launch it this is for where you can play on some of the experiences and uh, this is from where you can create games for the sandbox metaverse it's just validating some new files and i will just uh, log in if you don't have an account you will need to create an account and link it with metamask for example they require an ethereum wallet it's really easy to do but it's not a purpose of that video this video i will show you how to create a new sandbox game you can see that i already have some drafts but what's interesting is that we have ready templates that you can choose from and there are plenty of them okay there is this modern house the shopping center and what's the idea here is that you can use those to modify them and not to start from scratch now if you want to start from scratch you can click on create new and then you can select the size the maximum is four by four lens size and so you can click on create you can use a theme as well you can start with an empty team or you can use a lake, desert, nether or meadow. It's up to you, but I want to show you what an empty theme looks like. I will give it a name like Petco's Empty Test. Okay, and I will click on create and keep in mind that if you start from scratch, it's a lot of work that you need to do to create such an experience. Okay, at the same time, you can buy assets. If you have budget, you can buy assets from the marketplace like cars, buildings, and you can use them for your game. But if you start from scratch, it's really from scratch. If I rotate, you will see that it's nothing there, okay? I have just uh, the starting point, but nothing more than that. Now, if I wanna put some voxels, so these are the voxels, I can do that by clicking the left mouse and if I hold and drag it, I can start building some shapes. Now let me go back to the main menu and I will select some of the templates. There are some tutorials where you can learn to fight, to interact with the other users, but 
For example, let me pick up the shopping center that we have right now. Again, you need to give it a name every time. You will be asked to leave a name. I can name it Petco's Shopping Center. And I will hit on create. And once it's loaded, it will get me into this template. Here it is. And here is the starting point. And now how you navigate, guys. If I zoom with W and I go back with S, you can see that I'm just going forward and backwards. With D, I can go right. And with A, I can go left. Now I cannot really use my mouse to go left and right, I can measure with it. But if you want to rotate, you need to press the Alt key on your keyboard and then I can look at the big picture and rotate. Alright, with the arrows really nothing happens, you need to use W, S, A and D. And now on that ready template, I can modify stuff. For example, I can decide on the top of it to put a swimming pool or some water right if i zoom it you will see that i didn't place it in the good spot but for example right over here on the roof i can decide to put some swimming pool or anything like that all right you can do really anything you can change even what's existing for example if you don't like these shapes over here you can use the right button of your mouse and remove them Okay, so you can see I'm just uh, deleting. Okay, deleting the column will make real sense. All right, so if you don't like anything, you can remove it as well. You can put some animals and then you can see if they're on the right place. Obviously, putting animals on the top of a building wouldn't make really sense, but I just uh, wanted to show you that you have that option. You can put uh, different types of voxels like with lava, or water one more time and anything you decide to change inside the building you can now if I really zoom out you will see what the parcel is for those of you who are not familiar with the land on sandbox keep in mind that the size is 96 by 96 meters and we have height of 128 meters this is the maximum so you cannot really make building up to the sky you have a limitation there and you can look at the bigger picture and you can do any changes you wish and the best thing is to see them in the game so let me put some lava right over here okay just super randomly guys because it's close to the starting point okay and i will put some grass for example right over here okay we'll click on save and then i will hit on play it will load the experience and you can see that here is my avatar and here are the changes that I have done. Now I can use the space to jump over and if you make any changes it's just uh, the best idea to see if it's appropriate. Obviously lava here doesn't have any place, not even that grass, but I want to show you that whatever change you make you can experience it straight away after that and when it comes to the avatar you cannot really do a lot you can jump with the space you can strike with the left mouse and you can block with the right okay so if i hold the left it's a hard punch or it's a hard strike depends what your avatar is if you have a sword or not but one more time after you are done with your creations after you change something the best thing is just to go to explore and this is the best way that you can improve your experiences and see if you should add something or you should remove something pressing the tab button will bring you back to the game maker and from here again you can continue building stuff and modifying the experience all right so now let me go back to the main menu for me it's pretty cool that there are already templates and one of the best things you can do before you start using the game maker or creating your own game experience is to go to the drafts gallery and here are ready experiences from other users and you can see that some of them has three stars five stars zero stars and it's not bad idea to explore 
those highly rated experiences. For example, I will click on that one and I will hit on play and I will be into that game experience, okay? And I can see that there is an avatar, there are trees, swimming pool or a lake, I'm not sure what that is. There is an animal, there are some trees and I can jump, I can go through that experience. But what's most important is to see why that game experience was actually highly rated, what they liked about it, right? Let me punch that guy. Why the people enjoyed in that game experience? What can you do better? Let me skip that one. What can you do better so your game experience will be better than those that are highly rated? And guys, it's a lot of work that the creator did here. Look at the building the stairs there are elements that he has bought from the marketplace definitely and of course it depends on your budget for example this camel here maybe he has created it or he has bought it i don't know but it looks really nice not sure how relevant camel is to a grass experience but Maybe it's a desert or something in the middle, okay? However, that is a good game experience and the people liked it and they rated it high. So one more time, look at those game experiences that are well rated and see what you can improve or how can you make your game better. All right, guys, so this is how you can create the games. It's really easy. You don't need any programming experience no code required and you can share this experience with the others you can monetize it to earn rewards from it and in another video i will show you how to use the box edit where you can create avatars you can create different assets it's really great experience with the sandbox because you don't need to be a professional graphic designer and you don't need to have any programming skills the tools that they provide are just awesome easy to use now i really thank you very much for watching this video and staying with me until the end if you have any questions drop them in the comments below we'll see you in another video i wish you to enjoy your day and take care